Hello fellow artists, my name is Santiago and welcome to this drawing tips video. I will present to you 5 quick drawing tips to simplify the anatomy of the arm. Tips that help me improve faster and draw more intuitively. Before we start, please take into account that when I say simplified anatomy, I mean this video is not getting into the details of each individual bone and muscle. I just want to share with you some studies about the general forms created by the most important of them. This is enough to make your drawings look more realistic, and is also a great starting point from where you can do more in-depth anatomy studies. Now, let's go to the first drawing tip. This is an easy approach to the most important proportions. The key point here is to remember that the forearm is actually a little shorter than the upper arm, not the same length. We can say the length of the upper arm is equal to the length of the forearm plus about one third of the hand. Also, keep in mind that the forearm is about one and a half hands long, and the deltoid muscle, the one that forms the rounded contour of the shoulder, starts just a little above the middle of the upper arm. Number two is about the general form of the forearm. As you can see here, the front part of the forearm has a blocky form, with the top plane being wider than the side plane and that form quickly becomes rounded as we approach the elbow. This square shape is really useful to define the perspective of our drawing. Number 3 is a quick way to simplify the muscles of the forearm. Let's begin with the front view. We can place the widest points using an oblique line like this, higher on the outer side of the forearm. The lower part of this line starts at about one third of the forearm's length. In the front view, I usually use half the width of the widest part of the forearm for the wrist. The back view, of course, has the same silhouette of the front view, so we use the same oblique lines. But in the side view, these lines look inverted. The widest point on the front is higher. This is because the mass of muscles that created this form is now here. You can also see how the front side of the forearm looks like some kind of a stair step, while the back side is more like a curved line. Number 4 is going to be about the upper arm. In the front view, we can draw the sides as two similar curved lines, with the line of the inner side being a little longer. Also, in the front view, the outline of the deltoid muscle doesn't look like a circle. We can use these three lines as a reference. Now, in the side view, the deltoid is certainly more rounded, and the curve of the back of the arm has its widest point on the upper half. And finally, number 5 is that the arm doesn't follow a completely straight line. That would look really stiff. In the front view, it actually looks more like this. It's very subtle. An easy way to get this is to draw a straight line at the center of the arm when we start drawing, and then make sure that more than half of the wrist is on the outer side of that line.
And this was my first video on YouTube. If you'd like to know more about me, I will leave a link in the comments below to my website, where I will be posting all kinds of content about drawing and animation. And please let me know in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see on this channel, as I'm always looking for new ideas. Please like and subscribe.